Let's just go begin the purple section of the driving school, the, the secret post-game section. So, uh, while we learned how to drive in all the previous sections of the driving school, here in the purple section, this is where we learn how to race. Basics of overtaking one. Yep. Overtaking on the inside of the bin. So we've learned how to drive, let's learn how to race. Take it away, Vicky. I don't know, I can't remember your last name ever. Welcome to the Gran Turismo 4 Prologue Bonus Lessons. Starting with this lesson, you'll learn readily applicable skills designed to win races. For the first of these lessons, you'll practice passing an opponent on the inside of the second hairpin corner of Tsukuba Circuit. When you're driving by yourself, you can take the ideal line through the corner. However, with an opponent on the track, your line has to be at least slightly faster. How do you manage this? The answer, delay braking at the entrance to the corner and slip into your opponent's racing line. This way, he won't be able to stay on the ideal line. Take care not to make contact with your opponent's car. Play fair by making smooth passes, and timely use of the brake should bring you in line with your opponent, allowing you to pass. Best of luck with the lesson. Yeah. So. I know Yellow Evo because uh, unfunny memes by racist people is not funny. Alright, let's do some overtaking. So, gotta go to right. Help break the other Evo. Oh, we went wide. He's bonking my ass. And across the line, we're not gonna get gold first try. Damn it. Oh well. Almost got the gold. Very close. 16.4, and I ran a 4.38, so. Let's do this again, except slightly faster. I'm actually gonna break a little earlier. Instead of trying to uh, clear him on the entrance of the corner, we'll enter the corner alongside and then get the run on the exit, and there we go. Gold. Ta da! Two tries. Yeah. I did it. I learned how to pass somebody. We only made minimal contact. And we're still unlocking cars, by the way. We've got the Evo 5 now. That we can use an arcade. Can't overtake quickly. You must quickly out quickly the other quickly. Anyways, on to over, uh, lesson 27. Basics is overtaking two. Overtaking on a bin using the outside racing line. So, uh, and a different four-wheel drive car as well. We're using a GTR for this. Welcome to lesson 27. In the last lesson, you learned how to pass your opponent on the inside of the racing line, but that strategy won't work every time. Time now to learn how to pass on the outside of your opponent. This lesson takes place in the same area, the second hairpin corner of the Tsukuba circuit. As you approach the corner, if it seems too difficult to pass your opponent on the inside, don't risk it. Align your car with your opponent on the outside and race like that to mid-corner. Then turn harder than usual. Near the end of the corner, your opponent will come back to the outside. You, on the other hand, will brush by your rival on the inside, creating a chance to pass the car on the following straight. This is, of course, the same line you learned in an earlier lesson that emphasizes corner exit speed. This technique is effective when used on a corner that precedes a long straight. Best of luck in the lesson. It's weird. It's time to learn the crossover technique, basically. It's actually pretty, it's pretty smart technique to learn. Because your opponent's going to defend the inside, well... Just take your normal line, run a little, little wider on the entry, and then bring it down on the exit. I royally fucked that up, holy shit, okay. I did not do that correctly at all at all. Okay. Just need to go another 
tenth and two thirds faster. I feel like I'm not accelerating as soon as I should be out of the turn. That's a little earlier. I actually slowed down my mid corner speed a little bit so I could get on the throttle earlier and like bring it down earlier. Take a lower line. Hey, it worked out. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. Get it. Learn how to do the uh, the crossover and to pass somebody who's defending the inside. Hell yeah. With that, we get the R32 GTR V spec. Two. Smooth operator. Hell yeah. Alright, on to the next. Lesson 28. Basics of overtaking three. We're going to be taking multiple corners this time. Overtaking using your opponent's slipstream. Now we learned how to pass on the inside. We learned how to uh, cross over using if they're defending the inside. Now let's learn how to slipstream pass. Welcome to lesson 28. In this lesson, you'll be practicing a technique crucial for high-speed circuit racing, the slipstream pass. The location is the well-known high-speed track, the Fuji International Speedway. If you drive behind a car driving at high speed, the air resistance affecting your car is lowered and you get sucked forward as your speed increases. Using this speed boost to your advantage is what the Slipstream Pass is all about. In an earlier lesson, you already practiced braking techniques into corner one. Now you'll learn to drive right behind your opponent's car, then just before you reach corner one, slip into the inside. Try not to be either too early or too late on your grab for the inside. If you make your move too early, you won't be able to take full advantage of the other car's slipstream. If you're too late, you won't line up correctly next to your opponent. Using the slipstream is all about timing. Give it a few tries until you can get a feel for the perfect moment. Now, good luck with the lesson. All right. So, yeah, I gotta get that suck. Can I just say, I really appreciate, I've been forgetting to say this, but I've been wanting to say, I appreciate, like, before it actually starts the demonstration, like, replay, it we get, like, panning shots of, like, the, uh, the, the, the track section we're gonna be using for the lesson. I really like those panning shots. Time to slingshot past this RX-8 in my own RX-8, or I could just fucking pass him immediately. All right, that works too. He's kind of slow around the final turn. A hard break. I'm just going to use break at the uh, the darker patch. Oh god. Going wide. Might have been a little too late on the brakes. And silver. Okay. Well, let's do that again, except better. So yeah, presentation. Honestly, they put a lot of effort into what is essentially sorry for delaying our game. Here's a teaser game. Game. Allowed to bump draft in this test. You make me want to try it, but I also don't want to. Get a good slingshot. Kind of stay down here a little bit so he doesn't try to slingshot me. You know what, Reaper? It might have. I'm gonna break just a little before the dark pat, uh, the dark rubbery part of the road. That was a bit smoother. Now is it good enough for sub 518? Sure is. There we go. The slingshot pass. And subsequently, actually making the first corner. Hooray! I could probably save one of these replays. Only two prologues, EAS. 
There's one for this, and then there's uh, one for GT5. There's GT5 Prologue. And then there's GT Concept, which is basically a GT3 Epilogue. I have no idea, Gravy. No idea. I probably won't find out since I'm, you know, how I don't... Much like with GT Concept, I highly doubt a PAL Prologue save will work on a NTSC GT4 save. Anyways, time for our next challenge, or lesson. Racing Practice 1. Racing Practice using the 350Z. Says we have three laps to do here, but the gold time is a minute 33, so unless we're at the beginner course, I don't think we'd be doing all three laps. Welcome to lesson 29. Finally, your chance has come to experience a real race taking place on the Tsukuba circuit. As you start, the opponent's car is 10 seconds ahead of you. You have three laps to overtake him. By now, you should be comfortable driving on the Tsukuba circuit. However, now you have to pass your opponent successfully and you'll have to consider the best passing points. Ideal points include the entrance to the first corner, the two hairpins, and the last corner. Consider the distance between you and your opponent and the differences in your lap times to determine approximately where you will catch up with his car. It isn't easy to overtake on the Tsukuba circuit, so you should try driving a variety of lines and study the different passing possibilities. This is not a three lap time trial. You will pass the test only by overtaking your opponent and maintaining your lead for a duration of 10 seconds. Be very careful not to make contact, or you will be disqualified instantly. Best of luck. Alright, so... Time to chase the rabbit. So we have three laps to complete this, but... Once we make the pass... That's lesson over. Well, complete the pass and then stay ahead by 10 seconds. So, in actuality, I have a minute 23 seconds to actually make the pass. And those remaining 10 seconds are staying ahead. So well, here we go. Gap's already down to 6.6. .6. A little bit of an overshoot. We're good though. Oh, yep, that's the rev limiter. Whoops. <laughs> it's a doopsie. Cut another nearly three seconds in that sector. Try to get a good exit out of this hairpin. Not close enough to slipstream, but I'm going to stay tucked in anyways. Oh, we're going to slide around the final turn. Got under 20 seconds to actually make the pass. Half a second back, I'm gonna dive into turn one. Oh, he's gonna defend, nope. He tried, he tried to pinch me. I don't think so, bud. There we go, gold. With 10 seconds to spare, almost. Yeah. It's easy, gold, yeah. All right, pretty good racing practice. Very good. Let me unlock the Z Roadster. Two seconds off in the time. Well, good thing I'm not playing that the Japanese version. Therefore, I don't give a shit. All right, so after that. It's time for another coffee break. Oh god, here we go. Coffee break four. Knock over all the cones while following the racing line. Oh yeah, this is the coffee break that actually takes place at not the Gymkhana course. There is no North American time because there is no North American version of this game. Time for another coffee break. For this course, a hundred cones have been lined up on the beginning course of the driving park. Touch them as fast as possible for their best trophy. The cones are aligned to the racing line. A 
on the corners, this means they're placed in an out-in-out -out formation, giving you a chance to review your basic driving knowledge. If you find yourself unable to knock them all over in one go, this could be a symptom of over-enthusiastic steering or poor accelerator control. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your coffee break. I will enjoy my coffee. All right, so... Similar, uh, similar theme as the last coffee break. Knock over 100 cones that are lined up right in front of me, but... I'm at the beginner course this time. So here we go. Got 41 seconds. And our cappuccino. Now, overall, this coffee break isn't too bad, except for the chicane. Because the cones are kind of lined up in a formation that's not really natural to me in the chicane. It's kind of going and then just step out wide here. Oh. I feel like I missed at least one cone. Gotta be careful around the sweeper to not randomly go wide and miss cones. Oh, I missed one. I only missed one cone, but that was also very slow. It wasn't even good enough for silver. Alright, there we go. I missed a cone. I missed a single cone. And through a few. Yeah, sometimes the car just goes through them without actually, like, hitting them, but they're still counted as being hit. Or touched. You don't even need to hit the cones, you just have to, like, barely graze them and it counts. I think the cone that I missed was in the, uh, chicane. Hopefully I actually got it this time. Go, go, go! Yeah, there we go. Freaking scented, bud. Holy crap, okay. Seven tenths, almost. I beat the uh, gold time by. <laughs> Take it. Let's get our coffee car after completing the coffee break. Hell yeah. Yeah, no, the cones in Sport and 7, the cones have, like, actual physics. They're, like, actual objects. Alright, so with that, we've made it to Lesson 30, which kind of begins a next set of lessons, so I think I'm going to actually, like, split the lessons here. So, uh, let's check our progress so far. With, uh, 33 golds. Of 29 lessons and four coffee breaks, and a driving score of 45 46. Not to buy it. Not to buy it.